Hi there, my name is John Palfrey, and on behalf of the Digital Public Library of America Steering Committee, I wanted to give a brief update on the project as of April 2012, and to provide a little context for what we've been doing over the last several months via this short video. Uh, so if you've uh, been following the project at all over the past year or so, we're in a planning phase, which is roughly speaking two years in duration. We're about a halfway through it. We're aiming toward a launch of the Digital Public Library of America in 2013 in uh, April, so we're about a year from that launch. And I wanted to give you a sense of where we stand in that trajectory and uh, welcome you to the project if you haven't been working on it, um, and to thank those of uh, you who may have been working on it uh, quite hard over the last year plus. So the way in which the project has been working has primarily been through a series of six work streams. We've been extremely lucky to have six extremely uh, strong communities developed around a series of different issues. And those work streams have been taking up a series of hard questions about what the DPLA is and what it might be. So even though we can't say exactly that the DPLA is something in particular, uh, yet we're still in the process of defining that as a broad community, which is part of our design over this next year, we're getting closer and closer to something that is clear and is something that we can build to her. And our goal is to have a very robust work plan for what a DPLA will be as of uh, April 2013. And most of the work to defining that is happening in series of work streams. So just for instance, the audience and participation work stream has had uh, a series of workshops. It's got uh, two terrific co-chairs in Peggy Rudd, the State Librarian of Texas, and Carla Hayden, the director of the Public Library in Baltimore. And they've been convening a series of discussions about the people who might get involved in the DPLA, who it's serving, what some of the use cases are, what some of the benefits are. That's one of this, uh, the most important things that we need to develop over the course of this first year. Uh, likewise, uh, David Ferriero and I have been uh, co-chairing the governance work stream. This is one that's seeking to determine whether or not the Digital Public Library of America will be uh, a new kind of institution. It, will we create a new 501c3, for instance, or will we morph into an existing organization? One very important point I'd like to make on the governance front, whether or not uh, we determine a particular format of the DPLA going forward in the next few months. One thing we know for sure, which is we have been hosting this project at the Berkman Center for Internet and Society at Harvard University as a research project, in essence, a uh, grant-funded research project. We know that we will spin it out of Harvard as of April 2013, give or take uh, a few months. And I, as the chair of the steering committee um, and as a, um, one of the Berkman Center directors, will be uh, stepping down in that role uh, as of our spinoff. So uh, we know for sure that it will not continue to be at the Berkman Center after that point. We're We've taken on this role as incubators, but we're seeking to find uh, the next home uh, over the next year, and that's happening in particular in the governance work stream. Another thing we've worked on in the governance work stream is a series of open meetings protocols, and we're hoping to roll those out over the next several months. We want to be an open and transparent organization that not only allows for broad participation, but also enables people to understand what's going on, even if they're not participating, if they just want to uh, understand the process uh, as it goes along. Another of the work streams is the legal work stream. That work stream, uh, chaired by Pam Samuelson and Jim Neal, has been taking up the many difficult legal issues. They're developing some amazing work around orphan works uh, in particular. We've got research going into uh, privacy and access issues and so forth. The legal work stream is, as we all know, a very, very important uh, development in, in the project, and it's something that um, will be an ongoing uh, focus. So in each of these work streams, there's very important work going on. I could spend the entire video going work stream by work stream, but I would urge you to go to the DPLA website, dp.la on the web, uh, and you can follow along work stream by work stream. And I urge you to get involved, whether it's in the business models work stream, um, the technical uh, aspects work stream, the ones that I've just mentioned, uh, and so forth. Those are places that um, uh, you can dive in and, uh, and make a difference through the DPLA. Um, and uh, if you have uh, content, for instance, that you would like to contribute to the DPLA or you have things that we ought to work on, the content and scope work stream would be the one for you, uh, co-chaired by Rachel Frick um, from DLF. So uh, there are six work streams. We encourage you to get involved through those. And um, ultimately, the work streams will be feeding their decision making as well as their recommendations up to the steering committee of the DPLA. We'll be having a series of conversations where 
will tee up the hard questions for the DPLA going forward, and the steering committee um, will be uh, rendering notional uh, decisions out um, over the next several months. The next point at which we're all meeting is an open public meeting, a big plenary meeting that's taking place in San Francisco. That'll be April 26th and 27th. I understand we have about 300 registrants already, and I think the capacity is about 350. So if you're interested in joining us for our West Coast plenary, we'd love to see you. Please do sign up for that. It'll take place on the first day at the San Francisco Public Library, and the second day we're hosted uh, at the Internet Archive. Special thanks to Luis Herrera at SFPL and to Brewster Kale and his team at the Internet Archive for hosting us on the West Coast. This will be both a lot of fun, I'm quite sure, but a chance to join all of these issues. Some of the ones I mentioned will be coming uh, into discussion, and I hope that you will uh, come to the event and uh, help us imagine what's going on. So that's the kind of overall picture of where we're at and, uh, and how the work is uh, proceeding. There's another angle to the work, which is the early stage of technology development. I mentioned the technical aspects work stream, but the technical aspects work stream is also guiding the work of an interim tech development team, uh, a couple of whom are based here in the building I'm working in, actually the Harvard Law School Library, down in our uh, garden floor, on the first floor, just a little bit below the surface. And this team, uh, including David Weinberger, uh, my colleague here, uh, and several others are building an open source uh, prototype that will be something that people can code against. We've got a group of um, uh, friendly white hat hackers, as they're called, coming for a hackathon tomorrow to do some development against this platform. Uh, they've posted a scope document for what they're developing and what they see the future of the DPLA platform as being. They're trying to look out across the landscape and see what's been developed, particularly in open source communities, where we don't need to recreate the wheel, where we can bring things together. We've had enormously helpful guidance from Mackenzie Smith, who's consulting on the project, a bunch of other people who are helping to guide that development process, and also to figure out, obviously, once the interim development team has done its work, uh, how to have a uh, sustainable ongoing development effort uh, to get us to a full prototype. We'll have a full prototype of some sort by April 2013. Hopefully some of the beta sprinters who have developed code related to the project will uh, also agree to develop on top of this platform. So we're hoping to have something that people can start pushing against. We won't have, I think, a full-blown system until uh, some time from now, but we'll at least have something notional that we can iterate from and that will give a much greater sense of what the DPLA will be like uh, when it's instantiated in code. And it's mostly, again, thinking about the plumbing initially, and you can see that from the scope document uh, also on the website. And please do send feedback if you have uh, views on that score. So those are the primary updates as of April 2012. I hope that you will join us online on the web. Again, http colon backslash backslash dp dot la is the primary website that leads off into the wikis and to the online discussion spaces, uh, in particular the listservs. And uh, there's a lot of material that's going up on these sites, and we very much hope you will engage with it there. Also, that you might agree to show up in San Francisco April 26th and 27th and get engaged in the work as we enter our last year of the planning process, which will run from April 2012 to April 2013, at which point we hope to launch a full-scale DPLA effort. Uh, with that, I'm John Palfrey, and signing off from Cambridge, Massachusetts, thank you so much for your interest in the Digital Public Library of America project. Take care.